The Dow dropping at one point over 700, 700 points today as investors digest trade fight fears and fresh worries about more Fed rate hikes. We've got the Fed chair, Jerome Powell, saying the Fed plans to continue gradually raising rates in the strengthening economy. Uh, so what does this mean for your money? Let's bring in MaxFunds.com co-founder and editor Jonas Max Ferris, as well as Lido Isle Advisors principal Jason Rotman. I mean, is the market overreacting, Jonas? That's what I'm trying to get to. There's a little bit of uh, manic depressiveness with these swings up and down. One strategy is just look less frequently and you won't even notice because over a few days, it doesn't even change that often very much. It just goes up 700 points in the Dow and then down 700 points. So it's, it's very dramatic, but it is not like it's just falling every day and going lower like a real bear market. Yeah, so that's it's, a Again, it's not, it's not a great market, but it's definitely looks day to day worse than it is. Yeah, that's a good investor. point. We're back at November uh, levels, uh, Jason. I mean, the business press and the media... I mean, every market down day is uh, blamed on something that's coming out of the White House or the Fed. I mean, we're back to normal, right? If this is how market behaves. And yes, we don't want a trade war. Nobody wants that. But this is, there's no trade tariffs enacted yet. And it's in, discussing, it's in the talking stages right now. Yes. However, uh, the fact that they're not enacted yet does not matter because the market looks towards the future and tries to, to discount as much of the future as it possibly can. So that's point number one. Point number two is, and I'm, I'm not a perma bear, I'm an optimistic type of guy, but I kind of disagree that this is what a bear market looks like. When volatility is high, you get huge down days, you get huge rallies, but ultimately the market does make lower it's lows and lower it's highs. It's off 2% today. Two percent's a decent size down day, okay. yeah. And I think, and I think we're going to go a little bit lower again. I'm not a perma bear. I'm not calling for a 10, right. 20 percent correction. But there's a lot of bearish factors at play, and that's and that's what I'm seeing. All right, I hear what you're saying. I mean, Jonas, we don't have the Fed buying bonds. We have all sorts of things hitting the market. But we have Treasury Secretary Steve Mnuchin saying the possibility of a trade war with China. And, you know, the White House saying that's not the objective. They don't want it. We're they're in the negotiation stages. What do you think of that? It's definitely in the plain chicken stages, and it's not, I mean, it's, it's affected markets, and you can see, especially in commodities markets, and people in those businesses see the effect, but it hasn't yet resulted in, in what we all fear. But, you know, again, it's a, to the other guest point, it's a forward-looking market. You know, realistically, it's a tough game because we have elections every couple of years, and they don't. It, it, we both have recessions, us and China, over this trade war, if it even becomes a real trade war, not just a talking trade war. You know, we'll lose people. The whole political party will change from one to the other because there's a, there's a recession. That doesn't happen in China. Their political right. party, they have more power in that way politically than we do. We have more power as the bigger buyer and the bigger economy, of course. In some ways, they need us more than them. So if you don't know who's going to win, really, ultimately. I will say investors at this point can get protection the old-fashioned way because... It's more momentum stocks. It's tech stocks that are falling the hardest, biotech stocks. If you own longer-term bonds, if you own yield-sensitive investments like utility funds, telecom, you're doing okay in some of these wild swings because those things have done well now back, which is an older relationship that's come back. So we're not seeing like the old panic of a few months ago where rates were going higher, driving stocks down. Now it's more like we might have a recession because of all this. So you get a little more protection. You don't have to all run to cash is what I'm saying. Yeah, Jason, maybe the, the market got a little toppy there and you know, people are selling the rip and not buying the dip. Yeah, I mean, and I think to come full circle, uh, Liz, to your initial point, if you look at it on a 24-month time frame, for example, you know, two years ago, people would be absolutely thrilled with these valuations and these prices, right? So the market maybe did get ahead of itself. It is coming back to normal on a two to three year time frame. The market is still extremely high. People have done really well. And um, there are some short-term bearish factors, which is why we're seeing the sell-off. That's a good point. Great to see you guys. Thanks for coming on. Come back soon.